this redstone tutorial. My name is Omega, and today I'll be showing you how to build this Frostwalker bridge in Minecraft. So what is the Frostwalker bridge? If you haven't guessed it based on the name, it's simply using the Frostwalker enchants to pass rivers. We do this by putting on an armor stand, and you can do that from 1.9 and it will still have the effect like you had it on yourself. You simply just walk over and the path will be created in front of you. When we get to the other side, the bridge resets itself. That way, once the ice is melted, you can freely pass back over. Before we get into how to build this thing, I just want to say that this design I was able to compact it a little bit. However, I found that the first design is more reliable. And here we have a gap between the two armor stands and pistons on two. Over here we have it on three. And the reason why I find the one with three more reliable is simply because the Frostwalker enchant will spread to three blocks on either side. So on this design, the armor stand on either side will actually freeze the path the other armor stand is supposed to take. This means that the, uh, the stand might not make it across and might fall into the water. However, on this design, they do not interleave like that. They simply make their own path. Before we get into the building, let's look at the dimensions. Each station on each side of the river is 6 by 6 and 4 tall. This is because each station is mirrored from one another, so it's the same on both sides. In between each station, we're going to have some water. And this water gap can be a maximum of 8 blocks long. However, it can be as small as, as you want it to, but it cannot exceed 8 blocks. To build this, you're going to need some materials. Here is the list of materials you're going to need to build two stations. Two armor stands, two boots with Frostwalker 2, four pressure plates, eight sticky pistons, four slime blocks, 22 redstone dust, 12 redstone repeaters, eight tripwire hooks, eight string, and 50 building blocks. Now comes the building part. Let's start by placing the pressure plates. So we're going to have one, this is our 6x6 grid, and this anisite line is going to represent the riverbank. So we're going to have two inputs, one left and one right. So to make it easier, we're going to color code it. So the left one is going to be the blue input. Put it right on the corner of this grid. Put a pressure plate on top. That is our left input. The right input is going to be green. This is the second from last on our grid. Put a green block here and a pressure plate on that. And then you can actually just put an armor stand and some boots on them with fresh water. They don't have to be diamond, they can be any like any material, iron, leather, it doesn't matter. And now we're gonna place the sticky pistons and the slime block so we can see where we wanna lead our input. We wanna go up like four three blocks like that on both sides. And then place a sticky piston with a slime block on its face. So this blue input is going to go to this blue block and this green input is going to go to this green block. We're going to lead the input from both of the pressure plates into the sticky pistons and we're going to do that by a monostable circuit. So on this side we're just going to have it like regularly. We're going to need some repeaters, we can get them from over here and we're going to need some dust as well. So on this side we're going to go out like one block down like this, go actually, yeah, one block, then place a repeater here, set it to two ticks, then grab your sticky piston and place it like this, and place a block on its face. Then on the other side, we're gonna place just normal blocks and redstone dust leading into this piston, and then you can actually just go down like this and hook it up. This makes a monostable circuit which makes a short pulse and that is what we need. Now we want to hook the green input up to the green piston over here and it's going to be a bit tricky because we can't go across here because then we would crisscross so instead we're going to go on the outside here. But let's start on this side so we want to place the monostable circuit and we do that a little different than over here. Place two blocks like this, redstone dust here, a repeater here, set it to two ticks and then a piston here with a block on top. This is going to be our monostable circuit like over here. Then on this side we just want to continue out this way with blocks and then go down on this side and hook it up. So now it's hooked up, now we just need to place something here. And we're going to place, because we don't want to interfere with this wrist and dust right here, we need to place repeaters here, here, and we actually need to place one here as well. 
Because if you place redstone dust here, we're gonna butt power this piston, and that's not going to happen. So that's fine. Now we can place redstone dust here going into the monostable circuit, and then we can just hook it up with the input over here. Now I saw it made a little flick, that's because we already have something on this input. So that means we would reset it if we had an armstand here as well. So that's one side of the platform. Now we just need to mirror it on the other side. And it's really simple. So you just do like this. So on this side, green goes here, blue goes here. And then it's simply just the same, exact same. Just follow it up like so. You just do the exact same, except it's, it's reversed, it's mirrored. In case it was giving you trouble, this is how the mirrored side looks. Now the only thing that remains is hooking up the input to the bridge. But you also want to put the other arms then on, so, but you have to put it on the diagonal. It's very important you put it over here. Otherwise the bridge won't reset and it will break because these two arms then will just bump into each other. So we want to hook up the input. You can see I put a button right here. That is, this is where you want to hook up our input. You can put a button if you want to. That's fine. Uh, I prefer using some tripwire, and it's really simple to hook up. Just simply put two on each side like so. Bam, and then do it the same on the other side. And remember, this bridge is actually used from the right, so we have to do it from over here. Like do it like so. Bam. Oops, that was too close. Also, you have to do it on both sides, otherwise it won't reset. That means that the person who is might be following you or yourself, they might not be able to get over. Let's say you go over the bridge and then you end up pulled back, then you might will not be able to go back. So that's why we need to put it on the other side as well. So we just put down some walking path right here. Put the input on this one. Same here string in the middle and the final one is on the other side like this Oops. put the input here I think you're getting the hang of it now like so you always pick the right side and then it just works like so and it resets itself that is it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more of this stuff and other stuff as well, make sure to subscribe. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.